And very quickly, Josh, the controversy was this, that several lines in the proposal itself, not that Biden spoke, but in the proposal itself, were, were lifted word for word from some progressive think tanks. Uh, and, and the Biden campaign was forced to put out a statement saying several citations, uh, some from sources cited in other parts of the plan, were inadvertently left out of the final version of the 22-page document. As soon as we were made aware of it, we updated to include the proper citations. Now, this is a really sensitive issue for Joe Biden and one I'm sure he wishes the campaign didn't slip into, correct? Uh, yes, because it, it, of course, calls to mind the 1987 plagiarism scandal where Biden plagiarized a speech from a British politician uh, that ended up driving him out of the race about a week later. Uh, look, I think this is a reminder that uh, a Joe Biden presidential campaign is like a walk through a minefield. You know, he has a long history of gaffes and problems. And having a, a, a plagiarism incident like this flare up, even if it was a staffer and not mm. Joe Biden, is enough to begin to induce some doubts, I think, in people who, you know, may be on the fence about Biden, may want to look somewhere else. I will just say, Chris Coons, we had on in the first hour, had a really interesting defense to this, though, which is, come on, guys. I mean, it, it, this compared to the things that Democrats say the president is getting away with, that might be something that Democrats use to offset any potential gaffes or problems that arise during the campaign. I mean, not only that, don't you go to the experts, to the experts' website, and lift some of their terminology and put it into your play? Like, that's I don't, what I don't know. That's no, that's no, that's that's no. You, 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 you cite where you get your information yeah, from. It. Otherwise, right. so it's, it's plagiarism. It's citations. That's, what, that's what got him into trouble in the first place. I hear you. I hear I you. Two things. I think it's an unforced error that he should yeah. uh, obviously not have made that uh, is a distraction from his policy. And secondly... I think the most Democratic primary voters aren't going to even be aware of it.